Sharice Nicole with Coco Fab TV. We're at the London Hotel for the red carpet premiere of R&B Divas LA. We caught up with Dawn Robinson, the funky diva herself, and she told us what we can expect on the show and what really happened to our group in Vogue. Dawn Robinson, girl. Okay, so I thought I was in the group. I'm just letting you know. I was the fifth member that y'all didn't know about. I remember, I love it. I did. Uh, I performed you guys as a solo artist in every talent show. Um, that Cindy Terry Max Yes, yes. I took turns being the divas. Yes. yes, I love it. So we are happy that you were on the show, and we get to find out more about one of our faves. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So obviously, going into the show, you have an, a preconceived idea of what it's going to be. Was it what you thought it would be? Um. <laughs> yeah, it is. I can't tell you too much. It was some parts of it were, and some parts of it weren't, and okay. and some parts I was pleasantly surprised, and some parts a little disappointed. I gotta say, but it's okay. It worked out in the end. You know. Biggest misconception about you? You can clear it up. What, what would that be? What would that be? That I destroyed in Vogue, oh. single-handedly, all by myself. I destroyed this <laughs> amazing group that every the world knew. Um, not at all. There was so many problems within the group dynamic. Two pennies per album started it off. We were only making that much money. It was a joke. It was a joke because we were huge. And so that was it. <laughs> Karen, what her? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. You are not serious. This industry, girl. This is a mess. You it's have no idea what's really going on behind the scenes. Exactly. And what was worse is that the girls in my group didn't want to fight to make it better. A lot of times people are like scared and they want to stay where they're at because they don't think they can fight the big record company, you know what I mean? So I was the only one saying, hey, this is not right. And I would say if Left Eye was alive and she was in my group with me, we would have had a lot more. Because yes. she, she fought, yes. she fought, she didn't play. You were the diva that had the beauty and the brains and the business. I just, I just was fearless, thank you for that. But I had a lot of courage. I just thought, this is so wrong. We're doing all the work and we're, they're making the lion's share of the money. We're working our butts off, but they're making all the profits. So yeah, I just wanted it to be fair. That's all. We deserved it. Well, as unfair as the business was, and it's so sad that that's the case, just know that you've inspired so many people like myself who can't sing but just wanted to be you, dress like you, wear our hair like you. You know what I mean? Like, such an inspiration. It really does. It does. And from that, even though it wasn't as great as I wanted it to be financially, monetarily within the group, we still made such an impact on the world and, and women as a whole. Um, so I'm really proud of what we did. I, I feel like now I can take that knowledge and the name that I made within the group and go forward and do stuff like r and I mean, there's other opportunities. So I'm just grateful. I really am. Before I let you go, I just want to know this moment because I think it would be exciting. I can sing, so it'll never happen for me. So I'm going to live vicariously through you. Tell me about the first time you ever heard your song on the radio. Six in the morning. I was in bed, sleep at home, still at my mom's house, still living with my parents, because I was only 21 when the record came out. And my mom comes running in. You gotta turn. She's trying to turn on my stereo, and she didn't know where the remote was. And turn it on, turn it on. She's pushing buttons, and our song was on the radio. I'm like, Ma, come down. Huh? What's going on? And she's like, The song. What song, Ma? What are you talking about? Like, and she's turned it on. It was like, Oh my God! And, and you know what? I heard. Uh, what did I hear the other day? For your mind, maybe? And I, I said the other day, it was about a month ago or so, and I was like, oh my God, we're, we're on the, this is us on the radio. I was just still excited, and I never, yeah, it still never goes away. It doesn't. I still love it. I still love it. It doesn't change. I was there with you just now. Yes, thank you for that moment. I will always share You were sleeping in the other bed, and you were like, Dawn, tell Ma to be quiet, because she's too loud right now. Shut up with your song already. Get over it. Yeah, it was, it's still wonderful. Thank you so much. Congratulations yes. on everything. It was Thank really you. nice to meet you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You too. I'm Sharice Nicole. Thanks for watching Coco Fab TV. Be sure to tune in for TV One's R&B Divas LA. And remember, to know what's good in Hollywood, you gotta see Nikki.